day I was walking and it was in uh, back in school and then I saw I remember when the first time I saw him I was like you know it was like all oh, this guy's not from around here you know a couple months later we were doing this fundraiser at the school and we wanted to raise money to buy guitars and you know be able to give them out to students maybe that came from the same neighborhoods we did you know working class, poor, you know, struggling. I told a couple of friends, hey, we should, you know, maybe play some live music. And so someone said, hey, you know, I know a drummer, you know, this guy named Ram, and I was like, oh, cool, you know. In a couple of weeks, maybe we came up with five songs, a couple of covers, and we played, and it was a successful event, you know, and then from then on, we became the best of friends. That's a little bit about, you know, how, how this whole story or this whole project came together. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was yeah. said. Okay, you didn't really read the script right. You didn't read the script right. Do it, do it, do it from the beginning. Okay. Those are like, hey, let's be in a band, and then they just want me to carry their shit around. And it's all talk, dude. What are you gonna do? Back in school, we had a band, it was called Chimpluhu, and it was just a mix of with a, a bunch of different stuff, but you know, songs we liked, you know. And then from there, you know, I ended up moving up to San Francisco. Up there, you know, I had the opportunity to hook up with a really good friend from high school, his name is Lupe, who went, moved up to go to school. We started a band called La Plebe. So then, you know, I, I, was, I stopped playing in that band and then maybe a couple years passed and then Ram moved up to San Francisco. During that time, you know, I, I was went through a difficult time in my life and I was, in, I was just in a rut. So I wasn't really playing and I moved back to my hometown and then that's when a uh, you know, good friend Sergio, he was bringing Boom Boom Kid from, from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And so they needed a band to put together. But during that time I was like, nah, I'm not. Because I had lost a little bit of confidence in playing because of the shit I was going through. And uh, Ram came over and he's like, hey, you know, let's do, let's do, the, let's do the show, let's, let's, let's do this. And uh, you know, it's good friends, you know, Damien Fly and, and Rodrigo. And we played where he became his back band called the Gummy Bears. And we, you know, did a tour in the U.S. It was just met with lots of cool people, you know, all over. <sighs> it sounded all right. One day we went to a show. It was actually a Boom Kid show in L.A. And we're, me and Rem talked the next day, and it's like, let's let's play, you know, let's 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 do this. And and so then we started to um, we started to jam out. I decided to name the band The Thornish Roses. For me personally, you know, Ram, I'm sure has, has his own what it, what it means to him, but for me, I just feel like you know, we're all like a rose. Roses get doors to protect themselves, and I believe, you know, that's what we do too as humans. And so The Thornish Roses for me means, you know, not being a thorn and just trying to be the best rose that we can be in life, you know. And without the barriers, just let him name them go and just share them. And if life's hard sometimes, just trying to have a good time and give more than we take. So that's what Thornish Roses means to me. Hello, good to end it.